In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get an ad blocker on the Google Chrome if you want to block the annoying ads and if you're already using the ad blocker and if you don't know how to uninstall it or disable it, then this video is also for you and uh, for these questions that whether the ad blockers in the Google Chrome are free, is there any uh, built-in browser in the Google Chrome or not? So for all these questions, you need to watch this video till the end because that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So first of all, how can you get an ad blocker in the Google Chrome? You need to go to the Chrome Web Store, click on search for a web store, then look for Chrome Web Store, click on that. It is going to open the Chrome Web Store in the Chrome Web Store, search ad blocker. And in the ad blocker, you will see the, a list of all the uh, ad blockers that are available here. You can click any one of them, uh, which one is recommended. I'm not going to recommend anything because you have to look for the features in which you are interested in by reading the uh, details of each. For example, the first one is ad blockers for YouTube only and then the rest of the ad blockers you can see here. So one way to uh, ascertain the um, whether the ad blocker is good or not, you can look for the number of installs that is shown here in the bracket and the rating that it has got that is 4.4 and 300,000 installs. Similarly, if we go here 286,000 4.5 rating. So we are just going to click this and uh, here it is going to show you that how does it work. You can read all these details and once you are ready to install, click add to Chrome. So it is going to pop up this message add extension click on that and it is going to take some time and this extension will be downloaded and automatically installed in the Chrome. You will get this message and you will see that the uh, ad blocker is installed. Ad blocker icon is not visible here. You can click on this icon and from the drop down list you can pin your ad blocker in that way that ad blocker will be available here. Now you can click on this um, icon and from here click options or settings and uh, you can um, read out all these details and you can filter out and adjust the settings as per your own uh, requirement. Uh, I'm just going to close it and we are going to see that whether it works or not. I'm going to open a home page of Yahoo where generally there are more ads. And on the top, if you see here that it has blocked the 14 ads that were there on this page, which means that the ad blocker is working. Now, whether these ad blockers are free or not, generally speaking, the Chrome extensions are free. And if you need any additional features, only in that case you have to pay. But for a common person like me and you, you don't need to pay for them and you can use these free versions uh, on your Chrome browser. How you can get rid of uh, an ad blocker that is installed on your Chrome. For that, uh, you can right click on this and uh, click remove uh, from Chrome or else you can go back to the web store and then from the web store you can search for your ad blocker and here you will see the option of remove from Chrome or else you can click on these three vertical dots and from the drop down menu go to the extensions manage extensions in the extensions you will see the ad blocker extension here you can disable this if you need to temporarily switch it off but if you want to uninstall the ad blocker you can click on this remove click remove and the ad blocker will be uninstalled. Now the last question which I want to address that whether there is a built in browser uh, in the Google Chrome or not the answer is yes but there are limitations uh, of that built in ad blocker. Let me first of all show you that where it is click on the three vertical dots go to the settings and in the settings click on privacy and security go to the privacy and security within the privacy and security there is an option of add privacy click on that then there are add topics from here you can block them and if you want to block the topic wise um, the ads then there are site suggested ads uh, if there are uh, sites uh, that you have blocked that will be shown here and add measurement is there is an option so you can read all these things and you can uh, see that whether it works for you or not but generally speaking this has a lot of limitations as compared to the a third party ad blocker so therefore the decision is yours that whether you want to use the built-in ad blocker uh, or you want to use a third party ad blocker 